So plan of attack today is to remove this little bugger. It's been on here for probably about 40 years, 35, 40 years. All the bolts are rusted in and it ain't coming off. So I've chopped one off so far just to see how long it'll take and it didn't take very long that one. The other uh, locking bolt there actually um, stuck in place and so the head snapped off. So this is why we're actually chopping it off because that one's going to snap off. So we have to chop off four of the flange bolts, the floor four connecting bolts to the gearbox, and we have to cut a slice in the top of the prop um, coupler to wedge it open and remove it. So that is the task for the day. It's now about seven in the evening, eight in the evening. I've just got here. So far, I managed to chop one bolt off. Didn't like the way it fell off into the bilge hot, so we're going to use the galley fire blanket up underneath it. Hopefully that will catch any sparks that we don't need to uh, have in the bilge. It's all been swirled out, mostly it's just water. There's a little bit of black grey gunk in there, but that hasn't been cleaned out properly, but there's no oil or anything. So hopefully this will protect anything from hot stuff, sparks and that. Let's see how we get on. So precautions before I went and chopped this uh, flange off the end of the prop shaft is make sure your battery charger is off. That will prevent the build up of gas from your battery banks, which are right next door. Number one, the other one's on the other side of the engine room. And there's no gas on board. That is a little cooker outside and the main gas bottle is up there on the roof. So that means the bilger should be empty. I've opened the engine box lid, the cabin door, and that should blow a nice lot of ventilation through to make sure there's no gas sat there before I started. And then I've come down here. So we've got to remove all the steps, all the soles, everything like that. Um, but soak the area down with the hose pipe. I've also, like I said in the last uh, little clip, there's a fire blanket down underneath there, which is catching any of the sparks, that's all wet down, and the two bolts that I've dropped off since the first one, it's dropped straight into the fire blanket, into the water that's in the fire blanket, and sizzled out, gone cold. So that's one less worry um, about having to drop hot bolts into the build. So I've got one more bolt to do, and I'll try and do a bit of video of that, but I've only got the little crappy camera, I've forgotten the GoPro. We'll give it a go and hopefully don't go drop the camera in the uh, bilges. Right, shaft is off. The last bolt didn't actually have a nut on it, a little tiny cable tie holding them in. So we uh, just managed to slide them back past there. Got a bit of wood down there holding it in place. Um, it's not in line, but it's just to stop it dropping any further because the seal, I don't know if we can see it down here, is very much ballooned and very soft. So I don't really want to wobble that too much. Up here, I have actually today brought myself some eye protection goggles. The reason for that is not actually to stop things going in my eyes, but it's actually to be able to see myself driving home. I've got about an hour and a half drive from here. Normally, if I get some in my eyes, I just wash it out and get on with it. But being an hour and a half from home, there's no real easy shortcut around getting home from that, and I need to be at work tomorrow at 8 o'clock. So that's my eyes protected for work and for getting home. And one last block, which is spare, which I'm going to hopefully balance up later. And I'm going to get the angle grinder and start cutting away through the top bolt hole and working down towards the little brass key in the keyway. That way, if I do mess it up or go too far through, all I cut is the keyway and not the actual shaft. Right, let's crack on. So the bonus for what I've got here tonight is my, if I can get my torch in the right place, my adjustable speed angle grinder, which means I haven't got to worry about full speed angle grinding and sparks absolutely burn the hole until I'm not setting fire to something. So I've got one of the lowest set in at the minute and come away through very slowly. Somehow I managed to delete the last video, but uh, this process actually wasn't that slow. It only took about an hour and a half to remove the, uh, the flange after starting the cutting. Um, once the cut was done, we put a chisel in the cut, which opened up a small amount enough to get a puller on and to uh, pull, the, pull it off slowly with a free leg puller. 
Um, bit, a bit of oil on it as well to help it off, but yeah, not too bad. Um, if you like this video or found this useful, please like, share, comment, whatever underneath. Uh, find us at our blog at SV Royce Joy, also on Facebook under the same name. And on here, I'll be putting extra videos as we renovate and do other projects.